Donald Trump's decisions have influenced the Bitcoin market more than we ever expected. In this video today, I'm here to break all of that down for you. Did you know that Bitcoin's price fluctuated so dramatically during Donald Trump's presidential campaign? These fluctuations left investors scratching their heads. What kind of influence did he really have on the crypto world? Today, we are diving into Donald Trump's impact on the price of Bitcoin. This is a topic that is not just influential in the crypto space, but it's also influential on those people that are curious on how politics influences the financial space. So let's get into it. During Donald Trump's presidential campaign, the price of Bitcoin went volatile. It was up, it was down, it was going crazy. Everyone wanted to know what was going to happen with Bitcoin. What was going to happen with regulation? Does Donald Trump support Bitcoin or is he against Bitcoin? At the time, there was no regulation. This video is posted in 2024. Bitcoin in America is now regulated. At the time when Donald Trump was in charge, it was not regulated. It was the wild west out there. There was loads of speculation, bets, gambles on the price of Bitcoin. It paid off for a lot of people and it didn't pay off for a lot of people. This uncertainty created a challenging environment in the Bitcoin space for investors that were seeking clarity amidst all the noise. Now let's talk about some key events that influence the price of Bitcoin during Donald Trump's presidency. First up, we cannot ignore those famous tweets. Donald Trump's tweets often send shockwaves throughout the crypto market and Bitcoin's price. For example, in 2019, Donald Trump tweeted about Bitcoin, not a fan. This sent the price of Bitcoin plummeting immediately. The influence that Donald Trump has on Bitcoin is clear to see. If Donald Trump can put out one tweet saying not a fan and the price plummets dramatically, there is clear influence there. There is a clear influence from Donald Trump on Bitcoin. Then there was the regulatory announcement where Donald Trump's party floated ideas around about tough regulations on the Bitcoin space. Well, Bitcoin is now regulated. So now those concerns about the regulation on Bitcoin are out the window. The SEC have, have authorized Bitcoin as a real asset. It is now a real thing. So it is already regulated. So those uncertainties are now gone. If Donald Trump becomes president again, then at least we won't have that uncertainty like his last presidential campaign. All this uncertainty during Donald Trump's previous campaign created so much uncertainty. There was so much speculation and the price. No one knew what to do. It was like hitting moving target. It was just so hard to figure out what was going to happen next with Bitcoin and the price of Bitcoin. But that was all in Donald Trump's previous campaign. A lot has changed since then. Under the president, Joe Biden, a lot of time has passed since Donald Trump was previously the president of the United States. And there is the chance that Donald Trump will become the next president of the United States. That could change. But as of right now, as of recording, he is up there as one of the favorites to be the president of the United States. Like most people that do their research into Bitcoin, at first, a lot of people hear the bad headlines, hear the mainstream media talk about Bitcoin and say, no, thank you. I don't want any of that. I am not interested and I am not a fan. But like most people that do their research into Bitcoin, what it is, what it represents, how secure it is, that it is sovereignty, that it is independent, that it is an alternative asset for you to hold, that it represents pure ownership in something. Unlike a house, you own a house, but really the government owns it because they can take it off of you at any time. Unlike Bitcoin, Bitcoin is yours. It's pure ownership. So most people that do their research into Bitcoin end up changing their minds and support Bitcoin. Am I right, Larry Fink? BlackRock? Yeah? <laughs> if you like this type of content, if you like content on cryptocurrencies, retiring early, being independent, living a rich and fulfilling life, then hit the like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can hear all the new videos that come out in the near future. And the same applies for Donald Trump. It would seem that when he was not a fan, he is now a fan of Bitcoin. He's now a Bitcoiner. No, he's not the number one Bitcoiner in the world. He is not the Michael Saylor. He's not the plan B. He's not going to go crazy nuts and say the world needs to turn into Bitcoin. I'm not going to push it that far, but he has changed his tune from being not a fan. So if I'm going from not a fan and the price of Bitcoin plummeting instantly, 
Imagine what would happen to the price of Bitcoin when Donald Trump is a fan. I don't need to I don't need to put two and two together for you. You can figure that out for yourself. It's not that hard to figure out. But in 2024, we do now have Donald Trump that is a fan of Bitcoin. We do now have the regulation that caused uncertainty in that previous campaign. We do now have a more solid market, a more stable market for Bitcoin. So in conclusion, Donald Trump does have influence on Bitcoin. That is a matter of fact because of that tweet in 2019. So there is absolute influence from Donald Trump on Bitcoin. Donald Trump has clearly changed his tune on Bitcoin like most people do, including the biggest company in the world, BlackRock and Larry Fink, who is the CEO of BlackRock, who once publicly said that he's not a fan of Bitcoin. He doesn't like Bitcoin. He does not agree with Bitcoin. Well, right now in 2024, BlackRock has Bitcoin on their balance sheet. BlackRock is offering Bitcoin to their investors. For those people, those richest and most influential people on this planet who have teams of people behind them doing research for them, making sure that they are making the right decisions, those people are changing their mind on this asset that is called Bitcoin that is super important in this world. I implore you all to do your own research on Bitcoin. You may come to the same conclusion. You may see some red flags that a lot of people don't see. I don't know what your conclusion will be. However, do your research. I think it's important. You cannot deny whether you like or dislike Bitcoin that doing your research on an asset that is, that is a top 10 asset in the entire world of all asset classes, that doing your research is a good thing. You cannot tell me that not doing your research is a good thing. You must be doing your research on Bitcoin. But that's just what I think. I'd love to know what you think. Leave a message in the comments below. Are you a Bitcoiner? Do you love it and think it's going to take over the world? Do you think it's absolutely rubbish and it's not a real thing that you can't tangibly hold in your hands? Or are you somewhere in the middle? Leave your comments in the description below. Let me know what you think on Bitcoin and the influence that Donald Trump could have on Bitcoin if he becomes president again of the United States of America. We have videos coming out in the near future on Bitcoin. If you're liking this type of content, hit that subscribe button so you can watch all the future videos that we have on Bitcoin. And I want to leave you with this clear message. Big corporations, governments cannot stop Bitcoin. This is a fact. It's a matter of fact. They can only stop themselves buying it by banning people. That's all they can do. They cannot stop Bitcoin. Bitcoin has no owner that can give up, that can declare bankruptcy. It is infinite. It will never stop. People that ban Bitcoin are only stopping themselves from buying it. That's all that's happening. No matter what the government say, Bitcoin is unstoppable. Bitcoin is inevitable. You've stayed to the end. You clearly like this topic talking about Bitcoin. If you want to watch more videos on Bitcoin, then watch this Bitcoin playlist I've created on all my videos on Bitcoin. I'm sure you're going to love it.